Praise the Lord, your friend Paul Adele. This week we'll be talking about good news. Take it from Luke 10, Luke 2, 10. Luke chapter 2, verse 10. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Now, when the angel announced the birth of Jesus Christ, he said, I bring you glad tidings of good news of great joy that will news that will cause great joy for everyone in the world, no matter your faith or religion. The birth of Jesus Christ is good news to everyone. Let me state some of this good news this Christmas so that you can make a choice or a decision whether you accept this good news, embrace this good news or not. For instance, John 3.16, John 3.16 is good news. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe will not perish but have everlasting life. Meaning, if I can confess Jesus and accept him, because another good news says in Matthew 1.21, Matthew 1.21, his name shall be called Jesus, it shall save people from their sin. The moment I embrace Jesus Christ, I am saved from my sin, and I am saved from eternal destruction. That is very good news. Make up your mind today to embrace Jesus Christ so that you will enjoy the good news because that good news is for you. Number two, in Isaiah 53 verse 5, Isaiah 53 verse 5, the Bible says he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by stripes we are healed. It's also in 1 Peter 2 24, 1 Peter 2 24. That is good news to the sick, a very good news to the sick. It means no matter your faith or religion, Jesus is ready to heal you if you are sick. I read a story in the Bible of a woman called the Syrian Phoenician woman. She was a Gentile. She was not qualified for healing, but she put her faith in Jesus Christ. Never mind all the um, issues that happened, the disciples asking Jesus to send her away. She put her faith in Jesus Christ and her daughter was healed. If you too can put your faith in Jesus, you will be healed instantly now in the name of Jesus Christ. And last day, John 41, John 41, another powerful good news. Jesus says, let not the heart be troubled. He believed in God, believe also in me. Meaning, if I put my faith in Jesus, no matter the Omicron variant, my heart will not be troubled. Let's pray. Father, I receive your good news of great joy of your son Jesus Christ in all areas of my life now. And I pray you will receive good news this season in Jesus' name. God bless you. Jesus loves you.